Hi Crocheters of the World! In this tutorial we will work this slouch barret. It's not a barret, it's actually a beanie, but it's slouch as you can see and I love, love, love it! And I made it for my um, sweet uh, winter neck warmer. Here it is, my sweet winter, my sweet, <laughs> my sweet winter uh, neck warmer. It's really, really hot. And this is my beanie. It's a slouch beanie and I think it's so, mm, I don't know, fancy actually. Maybe this is the, the right word for it. It's uh, chic. Uh, in French, it's something, yes, um, nice. And uh, yes, I am ready for the snow, I am ready for the um, cold time, and uh, I, I hope you will enjoy the tutorial. It's a very, very nice stitch, as you can see. I hope you can see. It's the... Um, the stitch, the, the link of the stitch, it's on the description in below this video, so you, you don't have, but I explain it to you in this tutorial too, so there is no problem. It's really, really easy, it's nice, and I, I have a little bit, uh, it's a little bit warm here, so I just let you to the tutorial and see you at the next time, next tutorial, bye-bye! So, to crochet this hat, this, uh, yes, hat, you will need wool, <laughs> wool cotton, any kind of DK yarn, so medium or worsted yarn, and I'm working with a 4.5 millimeters hook, but uh, I think you can use any kind of um, thickness of yarn because uh, you just need to know that we need a multiple of six for the entire circumference of the uh, head or of the head, I may say, because uh, we begin from the bottom. So not with the crown of the head, but from the bottom. So this means that it's really, really, really easy to resize it. So to work it for from a newborn to an adult uh, size. So all you need to know it's the multiple, which is six. Now here I have my chain and which fits my uh, circumference of my head and it's uh, a chain of 72 stitches and what I want to do is to join and when you join and uh, when you join a uh, large number of chains you have to be careful not to twist the chain while joining, okay? So this is very, very important aspect and I am... I just want to show you, so just be sure that the chain is not twisted, okay? Now, slip stitch to join, ta-da! And here we have, so this must be, this must fit uh, your head, okay, so and must be a multiple of six, so the two uh, important things here, okay, to have a uh, perfect result. Now, for the very first round, we will chain one and we will actually single crochet in each of our chain. So, in my case, I will have 72 single crochets. It's really, really, really easy. And it's so beautiful. As you, you've you seen in the um, presentation, the, the hat is really, really nice. And you can make it slouch hat, so a little bit longer than normal or a normal hat, cuff hat, like, uh, sorry, not beanie hat, yes, or anyway, it's, uh, it's really easy, it's that kind of hat, all family hat, so, you know, um, I really like it, I really like this idea with um, comfy and cozy hat, yes, hats, you know, for the 
winter time and with the same stitch you can work a very very nice neck warmer and so you'll have a really nice coordinate of um, head and neck warmer okay so I just go on uh, with my single crochet and I will be back to show you how to begin the the border there will be four or five rounds of border and then we will begin with the pattern which is really really easy okay so I will be back so I finished my first round of single crochets and now from the second round we'll work like this into the second actually round we'll work like this so wait a minute yes I chain one and into the very first stitch I single crochet into the next double crochet into the next single crochet and double crochet into the next single crochet into the next and double crochet into the next and we will just go on like this single crochet into the very next double crochet and single crochet and double crochet into the next and go on like this all around for the second round now that I finished my second round of the border with the double crochet single crochet double crochet single crochet I finished it with a double crochet and this is exactly the way that I have to finish it because I began it with a single uh, with a single crochet yes so this means that if we work uh, correctly we we must have a double crochet for um, the the last stitch now of course slip stitch into the first single crochet and chain one and now from this round we will have uh, a total of three more rounds for the border and these three rounds we want to work them like this into the single crochet we work single crochet but uh, into the double crochet actually we will work around the double crochet a front post double crochet so this is what I mean with the front post you know double crochet and this is the single crochet so I will just work a single crochet this is the double crochet and I will go around the post of it and I will work a double crochet this is a single crochet and I work a single crochet and this is the double crochet and I just go around of it and work a double crochet front pose double crochet and this is the single crochet and this is the double crochet <laughs> And I work a front post double crochet. This is a six single crochet, so don't skip any stitch. It's very important. Maybe this, uh, maybe this first round will be a little bit strange because we we have to um, uh, take care not to work a double crochet into a single crochet or vice versa so uh, single crochet into the single crochet and double crochet around the post of the double crochet okay maybe it's a little bit difficult but this is the the um, border stitch in a crochet and this is what I want to work so from the second uh, round of the board not of the border but of the this little pattern here that we have so single crochet and uh, uh, front post double crochet will be easier because it's just uh, obvious where we have to work our double crochets around this post so it's just more than clear we just have to pay attention in uh, this uh, 
this round so this is the single crochet I will work a single crochet and here it is my double crochet around the post of it I will work a double crochet and the single crochet and the double crochet okay so just uh, a little bit of attention not to skip any stitch and not to work um, I don't know a, a single crochet into the double crochet or a double crochet into a single crochet we just have to work one 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 and we will have something like this and with this uh, we will go on two more rounds okay so two more rounds and I will be back to show you uh, the the pattern actually of the binning I'm back because I just want to be sure that all of you understand all of the steps that we need to 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 do for for uh, a perfect uh, result so this mm, this video as all of my videos are not intended only for advanced crocheters but for beginners too so I am trying to explain all the steps and all the things so if you are advanced you just can forward the video is no problem but uh, so don't tell me that oh it's so annoying no it is not I just mm, this is what I want so that's it that's why I am trying to explain it well okay so here we have our last double crochet front post double crochet and now I just want to insert the hook into the first single crochet and to slip stitch okay and now as I said before from the second round with the double crochet front post double crochet it's easier because we just chain one work the single crochet and now oops and now we have here the double crochet so around the post of it we will work the double crochet and then the single cro so the mm, crochet and the double crochet around the post of this one so it's easier can you see we have here mm, our our um, stitches well designed now well uh, so here it is okay so we we just can see where to work the single crochet and where to work our double crochet front post double crochet around the front post of the double crochet of the previous row okay so I'm working on my second row round sorry and I just want to put one more and then I want I will be back to show you how to continue on with the the pattern for this uh, binny so now that I finished my border I will begin with the pattern for my hat uh, you can just go on add two or three more rounds if you want a larger border but for me it's okay just like this now for the pattern I said we need a multiple of six and this is for the pattern and we will work into the first of our six we will work a shell of five triple crochets we will begin each of our round with two chains this will not count as a stitch now yarn over twice okay we can chain three maybe it's easier for the first double uh, triple crochet so yarn over twice insert the hook into the very first chain and work your first triple crochet now yarn over twice insert the hook into the same stitch and work your second triple crochet yarn over twice insert the hook into the same stitch 
and work your third triple crochet yarn over twice insert the hook into the first stitch and work your fourth triple crochet yarn over twice and finally insert the hook into the same stitch and work your fifth triple crochet so this is my first shell of five triple crochets now into the next five one two three four five so into the next five uh, stitches we will work a cluster of five triple crochets this means that we will not conclude the the triple crochets so we will let on the hook the last loop of each of our five triple crochets and then we will uh, close it uh, close them together in a cluster okay so yarn over twice insert the hook into the first stitch and pull up a, a loop and yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so we have our last loop on the hook and we want uh, to keep it there from now actually we have two loops on the hook okay yarn over twice insert the hook into the next so into the second stitch and work the same thing now we have three loops on the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the third stitch and work the same thing now four loops on the hook yarn over twice and insert the hook into the fourth stitch and work the same thing now we have five loops on the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the fifth stitch and work exactly the same thing and now we have six loop on our hook yarn over again and pull through all six chain one to secure your cluster okay and this is what we have to repeat for all our uh, sequences of six stitches so this means this is my first of my next six so i will just work sorry yarn over twice i will just work a shell of five triple crochets so one two all into the same stitch two three four and five okay now we have the shell done but we need to co complete the the sequence with the cluster on our remaining five stitches of our six so um yarn over twice insert the hook into the very first of our five and work your triple crochet but don't conclude it so leave the last loop on the hook and we'll have two loops on the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the second and work your triple but leave the last loop on the hook three loops on the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the third leave your loop on the hook and now we have four loops on the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the fourth stitch and now we have five loops on the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the fifth stitch and now we have our six loops on our hook yarn over and ins uh, pull through all six loops now chain one to secure okay this is what we have to uh, work into each of our six stitches that we have i have um 72 stitches a total of 72 stitches this means that i will work the i will work this sequence for 12 times so i work it two times here with you and now i have to work 10 more times um off the camera and i will be back to show you how to continue on with the second round of the pattern so i finished my first round 
and this is what I have so shells and clusters shells and clusters okay and for the second round we will work like this where we have a shell we will work a cluster and on the top of the cluster so into the chain one on the top of the cluster we will work the shell so let us chain three to begin and yarn over twice for the first triple crochet only that we will work the cluster around each of our five uh, triple crochets of the shell so this means that we will just go around the post of the first triple crochet and work the first triple crochet like this leave the loop on the hook now we are over twice around the second one and these are front post triple class a uh, triple sorry uh, crochets okay this is the second one yarn over twice around the third pull through two pull through two and leave the loop on the hook yarn over twice around the fourth one two leave the loop on the hook and yarn over twice around the fifth triple crochet and leave the loop on the hook now we have six loops on the hook yarn over pull through all and chain one to secure so actually we work front post uh, triple crochets now yarn over twice and as i said into the chain one of the cluster of the previous row round actually we will work the shell so one two three four and five and this is my shell and this is what we have to repeat for all the second round of the pattern so we are over twice and now we have the shell and we will work the cluster so actually we will close all this work together all these five triple crochets but we will work front posts triple crochets so one around the post like this two three and five okay and now we have our six loops on the hook yarn over pull through all six and chain one to secure and uh, into the chain secure chain of the cluster we want to work the the shell so one two three four and five so our five triple crochets for the shell okay now this is what we have and this is how we have to continue on for the second round of our pattern I finished my second round and I cut the yarn because I want to change colors in each of my second round so I worked two rounds and now for the third and the fourth I will work with uh, another color and then so on okay I am working with the same color as for the as I worked for the neck warmer uh, sweet uh, winter neck warmer because i think i want to make a, a coordinate so something to to go with um, to fit um, with my uh, neck warmer i was talking about this neck warmer okay so i want to make something that fits with my neck warmer okay so now insert the hook into the very first stitch where you slip stitched so this is on the top of the last cluster 
into the chain one and attach the new collar. And now we will begin with a shell on the top of the cluster, you know. So chain three, this will not count as a stitch. And let us work our five triple crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, and we need one more to complete our shell. Okay, now uh, we will work like this. One round, we will work the cluster in with the front post. And the other one, which is this one, we will work with the back post. So back post means that we will insert the hook from the back side on the right side of the stitch like this and we will work the stitch like this one and now this is the second one like this okay and now we have the let me zoom in a little bit and now we have the stitch on the back side okay so this is back post okay now again from the back side around the stitch and oops now again around the stitch but from the back side like this oops so actually when we work the front post, we work from the inside the hook uh, at the right side of the stitch, but uh, on the uh, from the front side. Now, when we work back post, we insert the hook from the back side, but always right uh, side of the stitch. Okay. Now we have our five. We can just. Uh, pull through all chain one to secure and we just go on like this so we'll have this nice um, design here for our beautiful um, stitch for our bene. So go on with these two stitches now we work back post so into the next we will work front posts okay so that's all we just want to go on uh, like this and if you want you can you can just go on with the same color okay no problem I just thought to to change the color to as I said to fit my uh, neck warmer but it's okay if you want to go on with uh, just one color you can go on with one color um, and I, I will just go on for the length that I need uh, like this and I will be back to show you how to close the binny so to work your last rounds of uh, decreases so as you can see I finished my second round with this um, color variegated yarn color and this is how it looks I just wanted to show you now I just want to continue on uh, the next will be a round with back posts double crochet for the clusters and then the next with front post and so on okay now just um, I just want to go on for the length that I need and then I will be back to show you how to um, work the decrease uh, decreases rounds so I finished my sixth round and as you can see I changed color one more time so I have a total of six rounds here and a length of 14 centimeters 
there are 14 centimeters and it's okay now I will begin I will change color again and I want to begin with my decreases actually are not decreases I just want to show you in this first round of decreases I will work the shells not with five uh, chain three of course not with five triple crochets but with four so this is one and two and three and four so not with five but with four and this is the only thing that you have to change let's say now I will uh, work the cluster with the back post because I am into the round with back post normally as uh, for the pattern so as the pattern says so now no changes now in this part of the uh, one two three four and five so in this part of the and chain one and now again of the pattern I wanted to say uh, and now again my shell with four triple crochets so only these only um, one two three and four okay and just go on like this for this round and for the uh, next round you will work the shells here and you will work also four a triple crochets instead of five okay so that's all so complete this round and the other one with four triple crochets for the shell and I will be back to show you how to continue on so I finished my two rounds with four as you can see and actually I have now the chain of on the top and the four here for one sequence so instead of six we have five 5 per 12 okay so we have 5 and now we will work the mm, shell with 3 so I, I chain 3 and uh, I uh, just change the color as you know I change the color each of my second row so 1 2 3 three single uh, triple crochets okay so all that uh, we have to change here in this round and the other one the next one is that we will work the shells with three and now I will work my shell with four here I will work the cluster with four so in this we will work the cluster with four and we will work back post triple crochets because we are into the round that quest for it for it <laughs> okay and now again into the cluster of the previous round we will work three triple crochets three okay so don't forget we work three okay here we are and I just want to show you we go on like this for this round and for one more so I finished my row round sorry two rounds with three and now I began here my second my last two rounds with two so we will work two um, triple crochets and then we will work our three together so the cluster so the shell will be with two and then we will work our three together so one and two and three okay and this will be these two rounds will be our 
uh, last two rounds of uh, for the pattern and then there will be just one more or two rounds with single crochet just to close the um, the bini okay <laughs> so i finished my first round with two um triple crochets and now for the second one i just want to uh, decrease actually so i will chain one and I have here my two triple crochets and around them I will work the post of both of them I will work a half double crochet and into the cluster a half double crochet and around these two half double crochet and into the cluster half double crochet so one half double crochet and to be sure I want to put a marker here where I began because just to be sure that it's it's here okay so I just go on like this now so around these two like this keep the work intention because we don't want ugly spaces now it's just one and one Oops. and around these two another one one can you see it's really easy and one on the top of the cluster okay now I will go on like this for the rest of this round now I finish the round and I have 24 half double crochets now in the next round which will be the last one we will work in each of our two stitches a decrease so chain one yarn over insert the hook into the very first stitch pull up a loop and now insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop and yarn over pull through all two now yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch and into the next again yarn over and pull through all and I want to put again a marker into the first decrease just to be sure so now like this working like this we will have at the end of this last round we will have 12 half double crochets okay so just go on and work all around your decreases.